the very first thing you need to know how to figure out the feng shui period of your home and the facing of your home. The reason why I started this live stream with that is if you're in a building, the determining the feng shui period is actually different compared to if you're in a house or a townhouse, right? Something that's not multi, multi unit. If you are in a house, for instance, let's just make it simple, okay? I'm not gonna talk about like multiplex homes or whatever like that. If you are in a house, it doesn't matter. In my lineage, the lineage of Grandmaster Tan Yang Wu, we determine our feng shui period by your move in date. Not the construction year of the building, not the year when the first tenant moved in. I'm not going to go through, you know, the details of, you know, the heaven, earth and energy being locked and whatever, but in a nutshell, if you are in a house, your feng shui period is determined by when you moved into your home. So for instance, I'm in a hundred year old house. So my feng shui period is not based on what it was a hundred years ago, which would be period three, period two or period three, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. I moved in two years ago, actually, just before COVID lockdowns. So I am period eight. And period eight is any time of moving into the house, February 2004 and February 2024. Then you are in period eight. But what happens if you are in a building, if you are in an apartment or if you're in a condo? Um, it's still based on your move in date. It's not based on the construction of the building or apartment or condo. So for instance, the apartment that my husband and I, we rented many, many years ago, it was built in 19, I believe it was a period six house. So I think it finished building 1982 or something like that. And there were people who moved into that building right after it was finished. And they were still there. In fact, I remember one time in the elevator, I bumped into someone and she said she was one of the first tenants in the building and she's still there, right? Well, granted, she had the penthouse suite. So it's really nice. Great view of the city. I can see why she stayed. She moved in in period six. She never moved out. The feng shui calculation for her unit will be based on period six. My husband and I, we moved in with our kids in period eight. So even though it's in the same building, my permanent energy calculation, my flying star calculation for our unit is based on period eight. So in that building, we would have people who, who, who would have a period six permanent energy. You would have units with period seven permanent energy. You would have people with period eight permanent energy. Okay. So that is one of the main difference between how you feng shui a home and how you feng shui a building. Because if you get the period wrong, your whole calculation is wrong.